Lord. I need an adult. This is starting to get out of control. Huh. Well, now we're in mud season here in upstate New York. My driveway is all sinking into my lawn. I have to bring in more crushed stone. <sighs> yeah, fun, it's fun. Good morning, everybody. So, we are on our way to work again today. Um, you can tell summer's coming because it's actually daylight and I'm on my way to work, which is very, very nice. Um, anyway, I kind of have like a, kind of a ghetto unboxing for you. This is the only time I can find to do this lately is when I'm driving. So I cut all the tape off of the box and you're just gonna have to trust that this is the first time I'm flipping it open. Um, now, don't mind my bags in the very back there. That's um, some toys that my kids don't play with anymore that we're donating. So I have to find one of those donation places today after work to put it in, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get this going. The, I know what this package is because it says it on the box, but um, I ordered some smoked, some black smoked marker lights, side marker lights for the um, Camaro SS. Um, now I didn't go with like the Oracle LED or any of the knockoff Oracle LED ones because there's, well, there's two reasons. One, some of them come with a very narrow LED strip, which you know a lot of you guys probably like the look of, but I personally don't. I don't like that. It looks too, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Import futuristic for me. Now there was another style that I had found on eBay of LED, and they had these three separate little LEDs right in a row um, inside them. And I also didn't like the look of that because to me that kind of looked well cheap. So I went with just some black smoked ones that take the regular standard bulb, which you know I can always put an LED bulb in there and still get the original ish style light emins that I like that I'm looking for you know what I'm saying just you know roll me here I'm not too good with words so but anyway here we go Guess you could call these smoked, but not really. They're kind of chromy, you know. I don't, I think there was a mistake made because these look awful clear. Boy, I'm gonna keep the plastic on the plastic sheeting on them right now so they don't get scratched. But um, yeah, those are pretty. Uh, I mean, I guess they're kind of chromey. Let's see. But they're kind of smoked at the same time. But they're more chromey. Um, well, let's see. Hold on, I'm going to post a picture now of what they looked like in the sample photos when I ordered them. that sample photo looks like and look at these okay and now I'm gonna the same company does offer clear ones and now I'm gonna post a picture of the clear ones and you tell me which ones the ones I got look more like Right, 
So, um, I think it's pretty safe to say that they sent me the wrong one. So, I'm gonna reach out to the company. Um, again, um, I did find these ones on eBay. It's an eBay store, but they have really good ratings and reviews. So that's why I decided to go with this. And like I said, they're the only ones I could find that offered a black smoke style. lens that uses a um, factory style bulb so for me it was a no brainer but let's get right out anyway the um, I'm going to reach out to the company and email them see what they say probably going to be a whole fiasco like my fog lights for the tundras where tundra was because this happened to me once before with the fog lights for my tundra i ordered those smokes to match my headlights and tail lights but they came clear factory style i ended up using them but i reached out to the company and they did not respond for literally two weeks and then they finally did and they wanted me to jump through hoops they're like oh yeah we want you to take some pictures of what they look like and send it to us and um as you put them in, we'll give you ten dollars back of your purchase. So, so you guys, my camera died there. Um, so I was like, it's so basically they offered me ten dollars back on the Toyota ones, Toyota fog lights, and they want me to take pictures and email like this other department and all this other stuff. And I was like, well, you know, about the ten dollars, it's really not worth it to me. So I just left it what it is. But you know what? These aren't installed yet, so if they want them. If these are wrong and they want them back, I'll just you know I'll send them back. And Get the right ones and if they won't do anything or they just offer me a deal it's just to pay to the butt well look at the bright side they make this stuff called bht nightshades to tint stuff like this it's like spray on paint style tint and which i wouldn't mind doing because now i do have the base to um, not have to uh, paint on my factory markers which is still a win for what they cost it's you know still okay with me but anyway guys, um, I said just a short little unboxing, kind of a ghetto video since I'm driving. Um, kind of a multitask thing, I cut the tape before I left the house just so I could, you know, do this. But, yeah, you know, those two pictures, leave in the comments if you think that they made a mistake or what. Just tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's worth reaching out to them or not. Or if I should just nightshade them and call it a day. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I know I promised that the in the previous video that the next video would be Camaro based or about the Camaro. Well the weather isn't permitting, it's still raining, crappy, um, cold still. So yeah, well there's some Camaro parts for you, so we're close. We are close. It's about the Camaro. But anyway guys, hit that red button, check me out, give me that thumbs up, you know.